so let's start with fibonacci numbers uh fibonacci so numbers are like uh it's represented as the sum of n minus 1 plus n minus 2 so, the, so let's uh, go for the example first so for example we have got n as 5 6 so the fib so so, so the fibonacci number for the base numbers 0 is should be 0 and for 1 it's 1 now from 2 and onwards to the upper numbers it's n minus 1 plus n minus 2 so similarly for the next uh, sequence numbers that we have the corresponding fibonacci numbers would be with using the same formula so i just copied this cell and if i paste it here so the fibonacci numbers for 10 it should be 55 now i have headed up to the to the intellij uh, i'm using the presentation mode so let's solve this fibonacci problems using the recursive pattern so i use psvm uh, and uh, i will first of all simply use a recursive approach to solve this problem and then we will see that how we can solve it using the dynamic programming approach and change the time complexity and space complexity to much less level so suppose i take for example for 10 and now i will create this method i want a long return because the numbers can be really huge uh, as the n increases okay so here we go so as we discussed that the fibonacci for n is equal to n minus 1 plus n minus 2 and for the base condition we already saw that it's uh, the the base condition for 0 is 0 fib is for 0 is 0 and for 1 it's 1 so it means that if n is say less than 2 then we simply return n which means that if it's like 0 it would be 0 if it's 1 it's 1 negative number doesn't make any sense for finite numbers otherwise if it's more than uh, greater than 2 then it should return fibonacci recursive and minus 1 plus and minus 2 let's run this and see whether it, uh, the output matches with uh, what we got in the excel okay so we got the output as 55 i think this is exactly matching with yeah 55 here Now let's test for various numbers and let's see the performance of this. For performance, normally I always use uh, the instance class and the duration class in Java 8 to measure the performance. So let's go with that. Uh, I'll start with instant class instead, which is in the start time as now. And then we'll, we'll let this program run. And then finally, I will take the how much time it has taken. Elapsed is equal to duration dot between say start and now, which is the, and when it finished here. After executing this, we get this here. And then I will try to use milliseconds here. And then simply I will print out the result as time taken. Uh, maybe I will use print of here. Time taken percent and milliseconds and here would be time elapsed 
and let's increase it to say 20 and rerun this oh so it takes six seven around 6.7 seconds so let's uh, again i mean let's try it for multiple output uh, multiple inputs sorry and see what how the performance varies for example i start with uh, say 20 here and then i move out to 50 and i will use plus equal to 10 okay and then i will move all of this gold here Uh, and maybe I will better use printf here also. Uh, here we will print, print this is the Fibonacci for say percent d is equal to percent d, and then we'll use i here. And yeah, right here. You can see all these uh, shortcuts which I'm using in IntelliJ, which is I'm using a presentation mode. Now again, run this and see that how is the performance for various type of inputs in this recursive solution. is not properly outputted. Let me try again. I'll say percent ten here. And let me rerun it. Okay, for twenty it takes six seven six point seconds. For thirty you can see the time is increasing at a very high high level and forty it's a huge number here and i think for 50 it's still calculating okay i will kill this and let's see that uh what is the time and space comp complexity which is causing that uh even for the 50 number it's taking is not almost not able to complete here now So the problem here is that in this Fibonacci recursive solution right now, every time we are calculating the same, the same recursive number for the same number multiple times. If you look at this uh, diagram here, so we started with say Fibonacci number of say 10, n is equal to 10. Then we calculate for 9 and 8, n minus 1 and n minus 2. And then we again split it down to n minus 2, n minus 3. You can see that here it is getting repeated. This n minus 2 is calculated here as well as here, as well as here, so multiple times. Similarly, f n minus 3 is here, 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 and here. So in a sense, what is happening is that whenever we are going to each level in this binary tree, so it is increasing the number of nodes or the number of calculations that we are doing to, to, to the power n. This is the zero level. This is uh, 2 to the power 0 is 1, then 2 to the power 1 is 2. There are two nodes here, so they are doing the calculus two times. And similarly, here it goes to 2 to the power 2, that is 4 nodes, and here it's 8. So we can see that it's going on exponentially as 2 to the power n. So that's why uh, we can say that this problem is having a time complexity of 2 to the power n. And that's why it is causing uh, that uh, it is increasing uh, the time taken. And for 50, I mean, I, we, saw, we, saw in the, we saw that it's not even able to calculate in the time that we had. We had to kill that job. Now, here is where we uh, come into the dynamic programming sol solution. We don't need to calculate the same nodes again and again. Uh, what we can do is then we can cache the results of the previous node into uh, into the memory and then reuse that whenever it's encountered again. So let's 
uh, solve this problem using the top-down dynamic programming approach, where I'm using the memoization technique. Uh, 